anybody in the whole wide world who actually understands how to program a video. Come here and give us a hand, Craig. Television is bad for you, Mum. They did a survey, scientific fact, that it eats away at your IQ. I don't care. I want to record Steph's side. It's on telly for the first time tonight. Do you think Richard Branson got his fleet of jumbo jets by helping his mum set the video? What time is it? Five o'clock. Chester one. Not exactly national television, is it? <laughs> well, we've all got to start somewhere. And when she does hit the big time, you can drive her from premier to premier in that lovely limo of yours. As long as she can afford it. <laughs> What? You mean you charge your own family? Business is business. You know what, though? I could get used to being driven around in one of those things. Maybe when I win the lottery. I'm doing this for you. You do want to celebrate the premiere of your advent in style, don't you? Your mum likes it nice and strong with three sugars, doesn't she? Jack, you know my mum? She really, really likes surprises. Does she? Oh, yes, yeah, she loves them. And you two have a great idea, right? Well, we thought you could take her out in the limo. Yeah, she hasn't stopped talking about it since she went out in that lesson. And you'd be doing me a favour to see how she goes on longer runs. Craig, it's not enough that I give you driving lessons, no? Do you know what the fuel consumption is in one of those things? It's more gallons to the mile than miles to the gallon. You cannot put a price on a romantic afternoon. Or do you not think her mother's worth it? It's there if you want it. <laughs> Craig Dean, you could sell snow to the Eskimos. I'll ring Sandra and see if she's all right about looking after the pub for a couple of hours. Well, like I said, I don't mind you. I mean, we'll be really good. Well, I'm sure you'd be really good, but I'd hate to drag you away from your revision. <sighs> Honestly, they will be gone all afternoon this time, and you can't miss Steph's head. Absolutely. It's a private party, so keep it under your hat. Nice one. I don't know why you're excited. I mean, it's not like your friends are going to get served. Well, you're not going to ID them, are you? No, I won't. Well, she might. Don't worry. It's all in. Madame, your carriage awaits. I could get used to this. Now, listen, love, you sure you don't mind me missing the premiere of your act tonight? Mum, you have set the video recorder, and I'm going to be on it four times every hour for the next six weeks, and I'm sure you'll be sick of the sight of me. Thanks, Craig. You know, this is a lovely surprise. It's all right. What's the point in having a limo if you can't treat your family every now and again? Drive carefully, Jack. We live. <laughs> all we have to do is rig up the TV and wait for the crowds to gather. Aren't you forgetting about something, Einstein? All we have to do is wait. So that's your plan? Sit here and wait? All we have to wait for is reliable, predictable... What? ...relief. You didn't! Mm-hmm. Oh, you keeping the numbers down. It's all about finding the character behind the world. I mean, I said to the director, I said, you can't find the character until you find the right kind of shoes. I don't think Susan wear those kind of shoes. <laughs> oh, it's time. Shh. You're about to witness the birth of a superstar. I think we're going to witness the birth of a monster. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Miss Stephanie Dilladeen in her first starring role in I Heart Cool Carpets. Yes, I love cool carpets. They only use the heart time. I love cool... Oh, you love carpets? Sorry. Hey, we love carpet too. So all you cool carpet lovers out there, get down to I Love Cool Carpets for some crazy discounts. We've got special reductions on all these great products. That's right. Buy one carpet and you'll receive a 10% discount on the second carpet you buy. That's I thought you were the star, Steph. Cool How does it feel to be on the cutting room floor, Steph? That has been a huge mistake. A huge giant animation because they are not getting away with this. <laughs> Having fun? Mum, you're back early. Not a moment too soon by the looks of it. It's not what it seems, all right? Me and Steph just had a couple of friends. But what are you doing, Sonny? Mighty. What in? Dog years? Where's your ID? I can explain you later. He's just going to touch you. Everybody will get a valid ID out now. Not you. I can explain. Where's Sandra? She was ill. She had to go. Where's Steph? She's upstairs sulking because her ad didn't go quite to plan. Craig, what do you think you're playing at inviting your schoolmates? Stephanie? It was only a couple of mates, but you know how it is. It's they bad them. enough inviting your friends, but you're serving in my pub. He was busy. You're underage, so I could lose my license. <laughs> <laughs>